oldest instrument, blowing instrument ever. 65,000 year, years old. They're, they're used for ceremonies. When, when people pass away, they're used for moving spirits, along with ironwood, ironwood leaf, smoke and stuff like that. They're very important to Aboriginal people. The process of making a didgeridoo is you have to cut the wood. Normally what I do is when I cut wood, I cut it up high. If it's not, not empty, then I, then I leave it. Or if it's damaged, it, it'll still grow. If you cut it down the bottom straight away, that tree is gone. And if it's too small, you can't use it. So if you hit a tree, you can, hear, you can, hear, you can actually hear the um, dirt coming down and you know it's empty. So just get a tomahawk and whack and listen. Yeah, so. Well, actually, I try to use traditional colours. Yeah, it's uh, it's a, actually acrylic paint. Uh, when you paint with ochre, they seem to chip a bit. Yeah. The artwork is uh, fresh water. It's from Roper River, northeast Arnhem Land. And what I've done here is a barra. Barras are unbelievable fish. They come in as males and turn into females in the billabongs, and, and they grow in the billabongs. So we we hunt them. Uh, freshwater turtle, but uh, this this sort of mimic spirit that we do, that I do anyway, it's uh, like a caretaker and it, uh, it looks after country, looks after people, looks after artwork in the caves and stuff like that, yeah. Mainly, mainly this is just a mixed up of uh, just animals that we eat, yeah, bush tucker, yeah, uh, the crocodile is my totem, yep, so I, I do two, two different types of crocodile, you've got the freshwater turtle, which is a short neck one, and there's another crocodile on this side, which is my totem, it's sort of called Cordell. The opportunity to be involved in this is really, really good. I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of myself to be here. I think my family are too.